Hello everyone, this is Krodig giving you a shoutcast and game 2 in a series between Dignitas Select vs AT and Zoke here on Shakura's Plateau. A Select spawning as the red Terran player on the bottom left hand side of the map, AT and Zoke spawning as the blue Protoss on the right hand side of the map. Should be an interesting game, should be, um, should be interesting to see what's going to be happening here as Select has already fallen behind 1-0 in this um, three game set. So Select now continuing to just mine away and we'll see how he does here on Shakura's Plateau. Select really starting to favor bioplay um, from the games that I've seen, especially against Protoss. Uh, Protoss um, bioplay works out well as long as you're able to minimize the amount of damage that High Templars and Colossi are able to deal. In the previous game, Zoke was able to shut down a lot of the economic game of Select, even though Select had a, had a couple smart engagements. So we'll see if that will be the same thing this time around, or if it will change up just a little bit. As Zoke now starting to do some scouting, we should be getting up a gateway here as well, as we are now seeing a barracks being placed down. There it is. There's that barracks, a supply depot being built off over here, trying to reveal a little bit more site and stay up on top of things. Also now an SCV on the move about to do some scouting. We should be perhaps, perhaps be seeing a refinery. Oh no, no refinery. So this may be a fast expansion attempt coming in from select. You can see the probe did pa simply pass by this SCV. The probe will be able to come up inside this barracks or get up in this SCV's face and then try to um, harass this one particular SCV. But no, he wants to make sure if there is any gas first. There is no gas at all. Meanwhile, the Protoss player opening up, getting that early assimilator will be able to get... Um, excuse me, will be able to start getting some gas and then with that warp gate... Um, be able to tra start training up some sentries and also uh, get um, or sorry with that cybernetic score and be able to get that warp gate research SCV now battling it out against this pylon yeah that pylon may get some damage but I would be absolutely stunned if it is actually destroyed as a marine going after the probe gonna be able to get off three shots maybe a fourth one no not a fourth one as that probe does have faster movement speed and now this pylon already down to 90 shields and it may actually take some serious damage but no it looks like a zealot will be warping in to try to put some pressure onto this one particular SCV the SCV just sitting there like, yeah, I'm going to deal some damage to the pylon. The pylon will regenerate some energy or the other shield. So it doesn't really matter. As this SCV is still wandering around here. You can see now a zealot making its way out. We are up getting that stalker. We are going into that warp gate research. That zealot perhaps going to poke its head up here. Try to get some damage and back off. We'll see if we have enough marines coming in from select. Currently only one, uh, one barracks up and ready. Perhaps we will see an additional barracks or two. Um, we really need to see two more barracks. Otherwise select is not going to really be able to fend off this large, large number of units. Um, we are going to have one marine activating this Onaga tower here and now finally the sign in the back off it looks like it was revealed and now a stalker and a zealot moving out in the center portion of the map is there going to be enough defense there are three marines here another marine being added so it is going to be four marines another marine now coming in from behind as well as a, as that one marine has taken a lot of damage so far this is not good news as select trying to back off with these units it looks as though scv is going to come in to try to engage marines are coming back in from behind as well the marines getting in a lot of damage and now going after the zealot the zealot taking a lot of damage and it looks like the zealot will get destroyed and a little bit of a miss micro there by Zoke, as Zoke t um, was the first one to really lose any units there, um, or losing a zealot when he didn't need to. We currently have two stalkers. Yeah, two stalkers now. As the stalkers are starting to push their way forward, Marines once again am getting some damage onto those stalkers. Stalkers pushing back, but I do not believe Zoke will be able to get up that ramp. An SCV has spotted the nexus of Zoke, taking a look in the bases once more. Gateways, sentries now attacking. A second assimilator now finally being added. More sentries could be added as well. Um, and Zoke getting some sentries, even though he's only running off a of one base. Select does lose that scouting SCV. But we are now running into a tech lab. Perhaps adding another tech lab and a reactor as well. And also going into that mass marine marauder play that Select has shown us in game one. Yeah, so Select shown in game one. We are getting the bunker up 
here we do have a couple of marines now down here on the low ground more marines still being added is it going to be enough to fend off any any more aggression now as we are getting that robotics facility and more gateways um, we are only seven minutes into this game but both players have very strong economies zoke is sitting on 35 probes that is a lot of probes Th up to 36 now select really needs to catch up he needs to be careful otherwise he will fall behind um, on a macro map like this you can see the reactor now being added and select unless he does some amazing amazing drop play is going to be um just trying to um, come back into this game throughout the rest of the match you can now see 39 39 probes versus 20, uh, 30 SEVs, 40 to 30, a 10 worker difference as the Chrono Boost still has enough to continue to pump out more and more workers. There you go, Chrono Boosting again down over here, or no, Chrono Boosting, the, I believe the Observers, so more and more Observers are now being added. You can see the Terran army is very gas, or sorry, gas light as we are sitting on a thousand mineral army. A total of 1,075 versus about 1,300 in total, 1,350 in total resources. Select now also building a lot of supply depots on the front door, perhaps to try to delay any damage, any damage by building up that wall. We are now going into that double factor or the double starport or the reactor starport that I mentioned earlier. Factory now floating out in midfield as well in order to gain site. We are adding on a tech lab and a reactor that I mentioned earlier. So this will definitely, definitely help select, be able to train up stim and combat shield, getting in a lot of units. But Zolke now has an observer on the inside of the base and will be able to make very, very good use of his scouting information. Medivacs are now on the move. The Medivacs are going to heal these Marines. The Marines now getting stim pack. Are we going to get combat shield as well? Yes, it does appear so. Combat shield now being added. The Marines are now getting picked up. And are we going to have a drop? And will it be revealed by this one observer? It does look like it. Um, Select doesn't see this observer. Very hard to um, scout or spot observers simply when they are not moving. You can try to adjust the camera. But we'll see whether or not... ATN Zoke actually spotted this, um, spotted this one medevac drop now coming into play. Another command center, another establishment, or a, a base now being established by Select as the units are now just trying to move across the center and trying to gain map control. It looks like the, um, the medevacs have unloaded all of these units here, and now the units are once again making another move. Marines and Marauders in position down here. Perhaps they will get elevated up. Only one medevac. Not quite sure why this medevac isn't doing anything at all. As we are now getting the factory still flying around. Keeping sure and keeping track of the bases of his opponent. We are now going to be going in for that drop that I mentioned earlier. Double pylons now being added. Is it going to be enough as the medevac simply just flies around. And we'll be able to perhaps get in from that backside. The Stalkers, there are currently six of them, perhaps should be able to shut down the Medevac, dealing significant damage there. Only, I believe, two shots is able to shut down a Medevac in this particular instance. And now going to be landing here in just one moment. There is a Robotics Bay on the far side. Is he actually trying to uh, perhaps drop into the back base here against Zoke? That may be the case as we are also getting a very small army, a very tactical army in from Select from the front door as well. What will we see from Select? That is the key and critical question as there are a couple observers now throughout the rest of the map uh, revealing everything that needs to be revealed as medevacs are just simply holding off over here in the shadows. Proxy pylon has been set up by Zoke. A command center will spot this proxy pylon. Perhaps marines and marauders will finish it off. An observer has been taken down here. As we are now going into a supply depot. So building a very early supply depot here. And I'm still curious as, as to what Select wants to do with this medevac. The extended thermal lance range has been completed by Zoke. Zoke... Um, pretty much in a very defensive, nice posture. This one pylon will fall down rather quickly. And now Zoke with um, a decent sized 6,000 resource army at this stage is going to try to test his luck and push. Marines now destroyed. A very large army still walking in. Stalkers and Colossi walking in as well. As a drop now comes into the main base. So nicely done. Zoke timing this drop absolutely perfectly. And pulling back. It looks like he only lost 
two food of units as we now have a, an engagement on the front door. The Colossi um, able to splash in a lot of damage. The Marines and the Marauders perhaps should be trying to jump into those Colossi or perhaps salvaging them as so much damage is being dealt. Colossi um, just going after the SCVs, able to shut them down. But we do have this expansion over here slightly up and running. We are getting more and more units. Uh, the Ghost going to be able to get some more EMP shockwaves off. Yes, it looks like they were able to, finishing off the rest of those Colossi. Now the Vikings joining in on that ground mode, trying to finish off and deal even more damage. And the Stalkers are finally backing off here. And the Stalkers looking like they don't want to back off any longer, trying to maximize their damage even though they know they will get destroyed. 2,000 resource loss between these two armies as now we can see Dignita Select is very much in this game. He has um, uh, he has more harvesters. He has a larger army at this time. So he's got everything going for him. It, will he be able to shut down these Colossi is the key question. Medivac, Medivac's back over here. Yes, uh, some of them low on energy already. One Viking. There is one Ghost here as well. The Marauder is going to perhaps try to snipe down these units as they're caught in transition. No, they are not going to get sniped down as another pylon is quickly destroyed. Uh... All right, getting back into the games. Sorry. Wow. Had to take a little bit of a breather. So where was I when I casted? All right. Anyway, second. Yeah. A little bit distracted. Anyway, Zolke now coming back over here. He does. He is now establishing up his third base as we are now going to perhaps see a, what, a quick taking of this one's Onaga Tower. And now there are some proxy pylons in position as well that do need to get destroyed. So this game is still really, really close. However, the army size of select much, much larger. Income tabs 46 to 55. As we see another um, orbital command down in over here, we do have a couple of zealots up on the high ground. The zealots do see that there are SCVs over here. So they may be running in and perhaps getting some damage onto that one mineral line in just a moment. The Marauder is going to take down one proxy pylon pretty easily. There are now two Colossi. The Colossi are only level one weapons upgraded. So will they be able to um, shut down and deal as much damage to the rest of that army is the key question. The Vikings need to back off. Vikings getting destroyed. That was a pretty bad, bad decision there as the Zealots now running in. Marauders and Marines also coming to engage. Now attempting to try to take down this missile turret as we have an engagement down over here as well. Massive battles coming in from both sides. Where are those medevacs? Not enough medevacs. The Vikings Vikings now I'm trying to shut down the rest of these Colossi there. Marauders and the Marines are now simply just outnumbering their opponent and will be able to take down perhaps the last of these Colossi here. And it looks like another Colossi will get destroyed. There is a Colossus on the high ground. These Marauders and Marines need to get away. Not quite sure why they're trying to engage at all as um, why they're even standing there. We do see what a couple Marines and Marauders down over here. The missile turret has been destroyed. We are going into Psy Storm as well. Zolke... Um, Zoke uh, now in a very, very wounded leg position here. He does not have very much going on. Not many of his probes. The worker, uh, the worker kill count, 26 to 29. So both sides um, have just dealt serious, serious blows to each other already. And the Marines and the Marauders are perhaps going to shut down these Zealots. The Zealots are now trying to run away. It looks like all of these Zealots will get destroyed. One Marine does get taken down, but the rest of it just used the stim and was able to shut it down there. Uh, there is a factory over off in this position, so pretty much Zoke is um, only running off of one and a half bases right now, and Select knows this. And by knowing that his opponent does not have very much going for him, he doesn't need to engage. 159 compared to 72 food. That is a very, very large difference. Colossi are now making their way out as the rest of the units are now trying to come in. Another Zealot will get destroyed there. As Zoke, um, not quite sure what he can do. We can we can currently see what two ghosts in the center of the field. EMP shockwaves will be coming. Uh, will be coming. Perhaps trying to shut down the stalkers and also these high templars. High templars do have Psy storm, and this is going to be very very critical as well. Stalkers quickly getting destroyed there, and in comes a Psy storm. No, the Psy storm not coming in at all. There is one observer in the air. That one Zelnaga watchtower is currently being held. Does reveal all of these units here. As we are now going to have these um, units come back around the far side. Do good job. Zoke now trying to split up all of his... Um, all of his units. There's the EMP, and there is one Psystorm there. Psystorm, only one of them was landed, 
and there is the GG coming in from Zoke. So Zoke knowing that after the size storm was not able to hit the targets he wanted to quickly says GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for game three in this best of three series. Between Select and Zoke, it is game SC 917.